So you need like a common goal for like, because people have, like people struggle. People have so much going on. Like I know different people that are just like immensely struggling. But even outside of that, like there can just be stuff that people have going on. Their own vices, their own struggles, their own poisons, their own weaknesses. Like just they got stuff going on. So when it comes to the idea of like people being their best, like bringing forth their knowledge to contribute to a group and kind of everyone being the dark road for each other. Um, like there's that aspect but if you have, like, a common goal, like, something that everyone's striving towards, like, money, money gets people, even though, I mean, then there can still be, people can still have cracks or, in, like, moral shortcomings or just not be of good heart or just kind of have some errors in, in self or action or moral or whatever, even if people are coming together for money. Um, so maybe what people, I wonder if what, people come together for like affects so like if people come people can come together for money but when people come together for money they can still end up like cutting corners having not not necessarily a good heart unless it's a company that like um that you know really promotes maybe good values and helps them not be that to some degree but and if people come together, there are different things that people could come together for. It could be for to make money. It could be to do something. Um, I mean, I guess money is doing something, but... I mean, I guess, is, is there anything else that people would come together for other than to do something? And that doing something could be making money or um, doing something, <laughs> even though making money is doing something. But to do something like it could be a cause, it could be like something that they all want to do. Some topic, some concern, some need, some want, I don't know, but. But I wonder if what you come together for can kind of like affect um, like because in the same like with like how with coming together for money purposes ends up with like can still end up with the cutting corners or not good morals or whatever. Maybe if you came together for something for the right thing or for a certain kind of thing, it would end up leading to, or leaning, at least leaning towards good actions or good stuff. People always cut in court in, in like places that, maybe it's this country or maybe it's, part of it might be like this country, but like working for different places, like people aren't really trying to follow all the, um, company rules or and like the people that wrote it like the company guidelines and all that do they even mean it or are they just writing whatever for show um, like people really cutting corners or not sticking by the book and that stuff matters to me but yeah people have a lot some people have a lot going on, but even if it's not some people that have, like, just a lot going on and just struggling and just, I mean, community helps that. So maybe just being in a group would already help, but they'd, but they'd still be going through. Cassie? Is it Cassie? Natasha. Natasha. Hey, how's oh, it going? Hi. Not real. Was that close? That wasn't close. <laughs> have a good one natasha good, how are you? i'm doing good have a beautiful night um so even 
What was I saying, even? Uh, it's only been five minutes of this video so far. I feel like I'm... Dang. Um, what was I... Oh, yeah. So, like, even if... So, like, community helps. Like, and especially, like, dialogue. Like, if people can be honest with each other and they're dialoguing with each other, you can, like, there's almost, like, certain, like, healing or... Maybe just healing that can be found um, when people come together and, like, are true in their hearts with each other. Like, I was an inpatient once for Sanford because my parents, like, pushed for it. Like, that time was unnecessary. Back in 2009 when I had a suicide attempt, that ish was a suicide attempt. But in 2016, it was just, like, with the video series and, like, with Band for Furker going on that video series going on and just and getting dismissed from the counseling program and and then like not respond to them like they ended up pushing for it to be that I end up going in a in as an inpatient or and whatnot so but um after the inpatient thing they wanted me to to be a partial inpatient too and I decided to go along with that and it ended up actually being a beautiful experience because there's just like I don't know if it was this connection or openness that existed that you don't necessarily maybe in reality, maybe you can see it. At, I don't know. It's just, it, there was just this openness that seemed to be there that you don't really find outside those walls or connection that you don't normally find outside those walls, maybe openness. Like, and I, and I, it's like, there's someone from there that I still like every, like, Maybe not once a year, but like I've ran into her like a, a, a two or three times since 2016 um, when I did that inpatient stuff. Um, and I still remember the name of another girl from that group. Actually, on the bus some days ago, I thought I wondered if it was her. It probably wasn't, though. Um, this other girl whose name I remember from that group, not the one that I have seen a few times since that, um, group, but there's healing that can happen in being real with each other. Maybe I just need to start a group where people just talk with it, like just can start to be open about stuff. There was something like that in this area last year with, um, what was it, what was it even, uh, interfaith dialogue, or no, no, or was that it, no, not interfaith, why am I thinking interfaith, what was it called though, there is, because jo Joseph from the Baha'i faith was doing, was doing it, and like, sometimes police even, it was, it was because, it was because of race stuff going on, I would, I, I would venture to say it, I would imagine, and, um, like, Um, and like some, okay, eventually police ended up talking there too. Um, like it was just people coming together in a circle and, and talking. So that's the closest thing I've seen to that. But like, what if I just had a group where people just, I don't know, maybe had the freedom to just say whatever they need to say. Cause I believe that by putting our different lenses together is how you find real truth. Like I'm not talking, there's a way that people in this culture in this country like kind of say something along those lines of like diversity or whatever but in reality it's like you're only allowed to think certain things and if you think something else you're dumb and you're all this like that's a side of social justice or what social justice can end up being um but i'm talking about like kkk member pedophile murderer Disney employee like every person even if the insect could talk like every all of these lenses put them together that's how you get to truth so if there's a healing that could happen with people just talking with each other then maybe and I believe that putting people's different lenses together is how you get to truth. And maybe I, maybe I just need to have like a group 
And it needs to be what it's not something where like, oh, don't be racist, don't be homophobic, don't be this, don't be that, don't be whatever. Like, no, like where you can be open. All this, like, there's a side of social justice that like is not on point. With how things are done in relation to social justice and stuff. The devil might be ever working, but but people just don't know how to identify what his where he's sowing or where he's operating. If there is a devil. But yeah, people, even though people have all these, have knowledge, experiences, lens to give, they also have their own story that they're working through, their own journey, their own story. So, yeah. Their own weaknesses, their own... Like, along with their strengths or their lens or knowledge or whatever, there's also their weaknesses. Their... Yeah. But when people are real with each other, that brings healing. That may answer some of that. Community, there can be healing in community. And you know, like, in cultures and in stuff, like, it kind of ends up being a thing where there's a group, like, over the course of history, not that I'm versed in history very much, I have a huge history book, started it, like, la- maybe last year is when I started it, at least, if last year isn't when I started it, I made, got into some of the pages at the maybe the beginning of last year, but haven't like only got like into the I don't know I didn't even reach page 100 like probably early 30s or something like page 30 something roughly around there but in history I would have I would I would have I think that like when there when there's culture when there's like a culture or there's a like groups it's kind of like there's a group and we all operate under this like belief or this way of things, but it's not where each person has their own truth, their own perspective, their own thing to contribute, and let's all contribute, and let's all, like we're all a piece of it. It's usually more so the case that like here's here's these ideas, here's these things that we believe and everyone must fall under this. And that is, like, that's this group. It's like a group is given a belief, maybe not given a belief system, maybe in some shape or form they contribute to it. But, like, it's not like, oh, here's all these different pieces, different people in our group. How can they, like, and they come together, like, in power of individuality to contribute to like power of the group kind of thing. And if I wanted to turn this to Christianity again, I could talk about try to connect that to the body of Christ and be and, but I mean I don't know that I necessarily want to. Body of Christ, U.S. Satanists, Iraq, Muslims, Disney, Marvel, different groups, and how are they? Are they utilizing businesses as well? They don't utilize every individual. Like, they use every individual. But do they, like, see the... 
but do they see the importance of every individual? Like they, businesses use every individual, they work every individual, they maybe appreciate individuals' work towards the goal that they want, but do they like appreciate, I mean, they appreciate the work of an individual or when that individual meets what they want that individual to do, but do they appreciate that individual? People have stuff they're going through. People have their own stories. But community can provide healing. And I believe that putting our different lenses together is how you find truth.